Hey guys, it's Ida. So today is Wednesday. I'm like sitting on my knees. I don't know. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. All right, so today is Wednesday and it's around like one o'clock. I am about to make some spaghetti for lunch. I finished Beach Read last night and I started The Seven Husbands of Seven. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo uh, this morning, or last night, I think, but I like barely, barely, barely started. I'm literally on page 14, so consider this not even started yet. Um, I spent most of this morning editing a reading vlog that is going up this Friday. Um, it's my first reading vlog that I've ever done, so I'm kind of excited about it. Today, again, I'm gonna make some spaghetti, and I'm probably going to read a little bit more of the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I kind of like it so far. My only issue, and this has nothing to do with this book, is I always have trouble transitioning from one book to another. Like, I don't know, I just like get so engulfed in the one world and then it ends, and then I'm supposed to just like leap into this whole new world, new writing. It's just hard for me. Um, I'm out of breath from standing on my tippy toes, um, but I'm also squatting, so I'm like shaking. But anyways, I'm gonna go make some spaghetti. Um, let's see you guys later, bye. start with him so I have three right here and then we'll go through like my Stephen King collection uh, but yeah I hope you guys like this video so so Pet Sematary more characters involved but a very cool spooky element to it so if an apartment listing looking at real estate isn't usually So now that I have my beautiful spaghetti in front of me, I am about to dive right into it. But while I do that, I'm also going to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. While I do it, I have been practicing um, pacing around, like walking while reading, so that way I can be better about multitasking. So I've been also practicing eating while I read, and I've been getting better at it. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Hey guys, um, so I'm a piece of shit and I didn't read at all. I literally picked up the book, looked at it, and was like, spaghetti's too messy for this beautiful emerald green book. And I watched Noelle Gallagher for another 30 minutes. And then I crawled into bed, turned on paperback dreams, watched a couple videos of her and Larry, and then I took a nap. And now I'm very groggy. I forgot to put the spaghetti away. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna go read. Okay, I am about to make this big fat cookie. I'm super excited. I can't really tell if it's raisin or chocolate chip. Oh, it might be raisin. Wasn't super in the mood for raisin, but I already thought this big fat cookie out. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys how big this cookie is for reference. Um, so here's the pan. This is a normal sized like <laughs> oven pan like literally this cookie is the size of my fist hey guys it's Ida so I just finished that big fat cookie yep I finished it it was delicious it was incredible like best oatmeal raisin cookie I've ever had um, but it was 
really, really, really filling and super greasy. Like I set it on a paper towel and the paper towel like was completely covered in grease. And like my counter was covered in grease. So like I feel greasy and like I can feel the grease coming out of my face right now. So I'm gonna go wash my face and then I am going to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. How many times can I say that in one video? But um, I hadn't made it very far into this book. I don't know what was wrong with me today, but like today was like a really weird off day. Um, I'm kind of like, I've been taking a break from life these past few months um, just for my own sanity. Um, and that means I'm just kind of doing whatever I wanna do. I don't have, you know, um, anything really going on other than plans that I make or, you know, um, random meetings that I have here and there. But um, yeah, today was just one of those days that I like did absolutely nothing and I feel really shitty about it. Um, I mean, I did edit that video and I filmed a little bit here and there, um, which is like the only productive thing I did. But um, yeah, I didn't do anything. So I think tomorrow I'm really gonna try to step outside, <laughs> like just step outside. Like I think being inside is like very traumatizing um, and like brings me down, but um, I'm such a homebody that like, it's like my natural thing to do is to just stay home. So I need to push myself sometimes and just like go outside. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. And hopefully I can read a little bit more of this. Um, I really like it so far. Um, our main character, Monique, um, she is like very low in confidence. She doesn't really believe in herself and she is going through a divorce. So she's just kind of going through it and she's not like very respected at work. Um, and she she is a reporter who now Evelyn Hugo has specifically requested to tell, like, uh, do her, like, tell all, life tell all book, whatever. Um, and she's like, why? Why me? And Evelyn won't tell her. She's like, you'll find out, like, we'll spend enough time together, you will find out. And um, I think it's interesting so far. I really like the concept. And um, I'm interested to see like what happens with these seven husbands and if there's like any other loves or whatever happening. Um, Cause I think something happens with Monique's dad and Evelyn Hugo. Like there has to be a connection. Uh, Cause he was a photographer back in the day who used to like shoot celebrities and stuff. So I'm thinking there was something going on here, but that's me just picking at 30 pages into the book. But anyways, I'm excited to read more of this. I'm excited to wash my face because I feel disgusting. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I am a pathetic excuse for a millennial slash Gen Z in-betweener. I cannot make a decent iced coffee, so <sighs> bye. Hey guys, it's Ida. So it is Thursday morning around 9 a.m. and I decided to be a little more proactive today and go outside. I know, I'm crazy. So I was going to go to the gym. I was gonna start off with a run and then that quickly turned into going on the elliptical. And then I decided to not go to the gym at all. Um, I just got really lazy and was like, that sounds miserable even though the gym is literally in my apartment building so that just shows you where i'm at with my fitness journey anyways instead i was like let me go to the lake i love walking to the lake because it's a nice um walk um it's like a decent length so i feel like i'm like doing something and like you have to cross like the highway you don't like go on the highway there's a bridge underneath the highway but like you feel like you're doing stuff and then you have to like kind of go on this grassy area that's like kind of mountainous for the Midwest. So I don't know, it feels good to walk over there and I am gonna bring my book. I'm also gonna bring a, um, like a watercolor notepad with some watercolor pens and some pens and maybe I'll just kind of doodle out there. Um, and I think that that's gonna be a good way for me to spend my morning. I tried to make iced coffee too and um, I realized I don't know how to make iced coffee so I have hot coffee in like a cup with a straw. So we're gonna figure that out and um, yeah, let's, let's go to the lake.
Hey everyone. So this iced coffee sucks because it's just hot coffee in a cup, but I did make it all the way out here. I'm very sweaty. Um, I didn't realize how hot it was outside and um, the Fenty sunscreen that I've been using for a couple months now, I just realized today is tinted because it got all over my mask. Um, I don't know how I didn't realize that before, but I only just started using disposable masks and it's much more apparent when your makeup is on it. So <sighs> everything's fine. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna enjoy the weather, even though I'm sweating is so hard. Like literally sweat is getting into my mouth, but it's okay. We have hot coffee here with us to keep us cool. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna read and I'm gonna draw a little bit. Maybe I'll draw first. I think I'm more inspired to do that right now, so. All right, see you guys later. Bye. All right, this is uh, what I got. The watercolors were drying out, so it looks like a piece of shit, but I've been thinking about killer mushrooms for uh, ever since I read Mexican Gothic, so. Hey guys, so I just got back from the lake. It is like 12, 20, 12, 30-ish. Um, I was there for a couple of hours and it was so nice, you guys. Like it really, the weather was really nice by the lake. Like it was perfectly cool, but still like warm enough outside. Like I was wearing this tank top um, and I drew a little bit. I read a bunch. I am about a hundred or so pages into The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and it is so good. Like I can't wait to like open it back up and read it again. I'm about to make some spaghetti or heat up my spaghetti from yesterday and read some more. I really like um, Evelyn's character. I just think she's one of those like main characters that you just like want to be. And I know that's like her whole vibe. Like she's a whole, like a movie star or whatever. And like everyone wants to be her and like all this stuff. And like she gets so much power and like self love from that, um, which is a little questionable obviously but um i don't know like you know when you watch like a really good movie and you walk out of there and you almost want to like emulate like that uh movie or like be the main character just like main character energy like that's her and like i want that like i want that self-confidence and that like mm, you know that power um it's so not my my vibe but uh i really really like her and i really like the juxtaposition of her character and monique's and i can sense monique is getting a little like more confident around evelyn like she's trying to prove that you know like i can do this and i will do this for you to like give your story justice and also like <sighs> have money <laughs> after that magazine fires her um when they find out so Anyways, I'm really liking the book so far and um, I even posted it on my Instagram and a couple of people were like, oh my god, I love that book. That's my favorite book. So I'm really excited to get through it. I can hopefully finish it in the next couple days or so. But um, yeah, I'm going to go eat because I'm really, really hungry. And um, I did pour out that coffee by a tree. Oh my god, I was by a tree. I was like, I had a little picnic blanket by a tree. Um, and at the end of me like packing up and putting everything away, I like look up at the tree and I notice that there's all these dead cicadas, like the bodies of the cicadas all over the tree. And I just stood there and I like internally just screamed like blood curdling scream inside my body. I freaked out and I just very like, panic but in slow motion packed up my blanket packed packed up my mark my markers and stuff oh my god i can't even speak um it was just very like <laughs> very very traumatizing to see all of those cicadas i resisted taking a video of it to spare you guys and also i don't think you would have been able to tell like these cicadas kind of blended in but then i noticed all over the ground where i was sitting were dead cicadas so that was um, very appalling. I am going to take a shower uh, so I can rid myself of that filth. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Um, 
I'm like, oh, I'm so in shock right now, but also not like I knew this was happening. Oh man, this book is so good. This book is so good. Like I knew, like I knew, but then it happened and I was like, oh man. This book really gets you into the characters, dude. It's so good. Okay, I'm trying not to give anything away. So, like, if you haven't read this book, no, I'm not going to give any spoilers. I'm not going to give any spoilers because it's really immaculate so far. I am on page 134. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more and then I'm going to go start making dinner. Just solve it together and it's really fun because, you know, it's just, it's like a switch. It's so All right. So this is what I am having for dinner. I have already made it. It looks incredible. Um, there is just a lot of it. So here we are. Um, it doesn't look as incredible on my plate because obviously I made it. Um, but this is meant to serve two people and I live alone. So I didn't know how to not just make both of the burgers. So I'm gonna save the second one. Whoop, I'm gonna save the second one. I will say, and I felt this when I chose this meal. <sighs> Why the broccoli? Just. I wanted french fries. Like, you're giving me a burger, and then on the side, you're giving me broccoli. I want nothing more than a fucking french fry. But, whatever. I guess I'll eat both burgers. I don't know. Bye. Hey guys, it's Ida. So, I finished my dinner. It was absolutely delicious. I was tempted to eat the second burger, but I was so full. And actually, the broccoli was... It was good. It was a good side dish. I just wish I had some tater tots or like potato wedges or anything. Anyway, um, then I was about to open up my book, but then a friend FaceTimed me for a bit. So I talked to her for like an hour and a half. And now I'm gonna get back into my book, but this is gonna be my goodbye for the night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I just want to show off this very cute mug that I have. It has these little polar bears on it. I just think it's the sweetest, sweetest little mug. It's like very simple. It's from Starbucks. Anyways, it's very old. Um, good morning. Uh, it is Friday, like 9.30. I woke up way later than I would have liked. And I've been feeling very unproductive the past few days. Like I've just had no meetings. I've had no interviews. I've had like really nothing planned. Um, not even like seeing friends or anything so i am gonna try to be productive today i'm gonna apply to some jobs i do have an interview today at five i have someone coming to pick up um, a book actually let me let me find it for you very small book but still someone's buying it the little prince this was like i mentioned in a book on haul this was a gift to me from an old friend we're no longer friends. Nothing crazy happened or anything, just parted ways. Um, so I feel okay giving this to someone else who will love it. And I think this person is a teacher, so I think that works perfectly because this is a great book for kids. Anyways, I'm excited to get rid of that and hopefully can get rid of some more stuff in this apartment because it's still pretty full. I do have someone coming to take the couch on Sunday, so in two days i will be couchless which is scary but i haven't even been sitting on this couch for the past three four days i've just like you know like it's already sold in my head like to this person so i'm like it's not mine anymore i shouldn't sit on this couch but anyways um so i'm gonna apply for jobs today so i feel productive and like i'm doing something and then i'm going to maybe edit a video um good stuff. 
Also, yes, I make instant coffee. Please don't judge me. My family has been drinking it for years and to me it smells good and to me it tastes good. Like it just like reminds me of my family. So um, I know that's the dumbest thing in the world. Like another funny thing is I grew up eating a lot of fast food because my dad loves fast food. And so like after school, he would take us to Burger King, to Wendy's, to Arby's, and we would sit and do our homework at these fast food chains because we were so obsessed with watching TV after school. Like we would just sit in front of the TV for hours and hours and like not do anything else until it's time to go to bed. So this was his way of making us productive. Like right after school, he would take us to like Burger King and I would sit and do all my homework and get a burger and like, I don't know, like one of those slushies, like those Coke slushies from Burger King. And then we would go home and watch TV. But anyways, Fast food means a lot to me because I grew up eating it and I grew up around it so much and like Taco Bell specifically, my dad would come home at like midnight because he like worked the night shift or whatever at his job and uh, he would play Sega Dreamcast, he would play soccer and he would have Taco Bell so I would stay up late every night just to, just to play with him and have some Taco Bell, have a nice chalupa. Anyways, that was very random and maybe unnecessary to say so early in the morning but that is my plan for today, is to apply for jobs. So, all right, <laughs> see you later, bye. Hey guys, it's Ida. So I just got out of a very strange interview. Interesting, but strange. So without giving too much information, I met this girl at Whole Foods like a week ago and she like complimented my shorts and we started talking and she was telling me how she has a mentor that is gonna help her, you know, get a six figure salary and retire by the time she's like 26 or something because that mentor has already done that and she was like do you have anyone in your life like that I was like no and she was like well I can't make any promises but I might be able to to help you out and I was like dope like in my head I was like that sounds really sketchy but okay and so she called me a few days ago and was like my mentor actually wants to meet you like this is unheard of she never really does this but she thinks that you're great and wants to meet you and I was like oh boy she was like it'll be over zoom and I was like okay dope I can do that and so I just had that zoom interview and it was actually very like cool um, she's Persian and I'm Persian so we like bonded over that and she was like telling me about how she had mentors that helped her do this and how she doesn't want like a typical nine to five and she never really did and you know she wants to be financially stable and wants to be able to do what she wants to do and it sounded too good to be true but also at the same time I don't know anything so I was like for sure I want this too and so <laughs> She was like, okay, I want to meet with you again, but next time I want you to read this book called Who Moved My Cheese? Um, so have read that by the, you know, our next meeting. And I was like, done, cool. So it's apparently a very short book, but now I uh, just got it off of the Libby app and I am going to be reading that by Monday. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. Very interesting, very different but um yeah i don't know how to feel i i'm i just got out of it so i feel very in my head and very weird so i think i'm gonna call my family and tell them about what just happened and maybe get their opinion so all right talk to you guys later bye here's that book i'm gonna read it on my laptop and probably on my phone it's only like 79 pages something like that 95 pages it's less than 100 pages so it's going to be doable and i think that the this is like the pretext yeah i think the text is like really big and like spaced out so this is going to be easy to to read so we're good i'm making some strawberry muffins because i had some strawberries that were going bad so that's what we're doing tonight 
All right, so while those muffins are in the oven, I am going to read for 30 minutes because that's how long it takes for the muffins to be ready. And um, I haven't read at all today. I just haven't had time because I was editing and applying for jobs and had that interview and talking to my parents, my parents. So I'm gonna read now for the first time today, see how far I can get, but I'm excited because I've been wanting to read and I just like haven't had the chance, so. Here we go. Bye. So, um, I fucked up. Actually, they smell so good and I just poked a fork in all of them and they all came out clean. So I just, I'm gonna have mini cakes for myself. Hello, I wanted to share with you guys how big these strawberry muffins are. It smells so good though. Oh, so I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys. Um, I think the strawberries maybe didn't cook enough on the inside. They look a little like raw. I don't know if you can, you can't really see that. Whatever, it's not worth it. They're, they just, they don't look cooked on the inside, but I know it's gonna taste good, so here we go. I was right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good and it's still warm. Oh my God, I might have two of these. I'm so happy right now. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I loved it. I am going to finish watching this YouTube video. If you can believe it, I'm watching Noelle Gallagher for the millionth time. I've seen all her videos maybe 10 times. I'm literally just waiting for her to post a new video. But anyway, once I'm done eating this muffin and watching this video, I am going to read some more. Um, I got to a good part in the book uh, just now while I was waiting for the muffins to cook. So I'm really excited to get through that. I am not as excited to read that cheese book. If you guys have read it, let me know, but I don't know. I just like wasn't anticipating to read that or add that to my TBR, but here we are. We gotta do what life throws at us, you know? Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I'll let you guys go. All right, bye. Hey you guys, so I've been reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo all night. Um, don't think I finished it by any means. I'm a little over halfway through. I'm on page like 234 or something, but wow, this book is just not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought this book was gonna be a lot more, I don't know, I mean, it would be dumb to say surface level, but I just genuinely thought it was gonna be more surface level than it is. And it just like has a lot more depth to it and a lot more diversity than I was really expecting. Like I wasn't expecting any diversity because I thought this was gonna be like, I mean, set in America in the 1950s and 60s, which it is, but there is so much diversity and so many topics that are discussed and from such an inter interesting like perspective too, because like, I think like, I think about celebrities all the time. I mean like who doesn't, right? But like I think about them and their privacy and like, you know, how paparazzi invades their privacy all the time and like how they can never live normal lives and like all this stuff. Like I just think about them constantly in that regard and you never really get to hear like from their point of view because they're always talking to the paparazzi they're always talking to their agents their people who will then you know get it out to the public and like it never is you're never hearing like an authentic voice from a celebrity i mean like 99.9 .9 percent of the time like it's always uh modified and like fabricated or like you know it has been you know combed through like fine tooth comb you know so I don't know, just like hearing this particular story 
from this specific viewpoint is so interesting to me and I love the way the writer goes kind of back and forth um, like some of the chapters have like tabloids um, in between and so you get to see like from you know a normal person's perspective like oh what's happening with Evelyn Hugo and then you actually get to hear you know Evelyn Hugo like tell her story and then you're also hearing it from the person interviewing her so you know you just get all these different perspectives and I mean at the end of the day like I don't know like you have to trust a specific narrator or whatever but like I just really really like this book I already know I'm gonna give it a five out of five it's like hands down one of the best books I've read this year and one of the most interesting like I haven't read a book like this before so here's what I'm gonna do I literally had to force myself to get up and take a shower just now because I was like I was like one more chapter one more chapter one more chapter and like I would have gotten to a point where I'd have fallen asleep on the couch so I already took a shower I am gonna have another muffin I'm gonna take my muffin to my room and I'm gonna read more until I fall asleep so yeah that's my plan for the night but i'm gonna check out all right good night you guys <laughs> hey guys it's ida so it is saturday it is saturday around 1 30 and i woke up this morning around 8 and i read for about an hour and a half i'm like 200 and like 70 or 80 pages into the seven husbands of evelyn hugo <laughs> It is so good. It's so good. I like literally couldn't put it down, but I had to get dressed for a FaceTime that I had with an old friend from high school. She lives in London and now she's in the film industry and she's living like the most badass cool life. And I wanted to learn more about, you know, how she got to that point. And we talked for literally three hours. It was crazy. Um, and it was awesome, but I am very hungry now and I am ready to eat. I'm gonna go do that and then I'll probably read some more and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, adios. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and um, I'm a wreck. I spent the past two hours, hour and a half, just on and off sobbing on my couch. So if you haven't read this book, let me tell you right now that you have to read this book. It is absolutely so good it's so good i mean the cover is like beautiful but also kind of cheesy to me like every time i look at it i'm like ugh. but then i'm like oh it's just so good but also i do have a little beef with the cover in that if this is supposed to be evelyn a big part of the book is how big her boobs are that ain't that ain't that big to me i don't i don't know could have picked a different model, but anyways, um, this was incredible. This is a book that I will be talking about for a very, 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 very long time. Like easy five out of five. Like there was nothing wrong with this book. <sighs> there were moments where I was kind of like, oh, Celia, Celia, however you want to pronounce her name, Celia, St. James her character was like a little needy like a little possessive in my opinion um but other than that it just it really hit all the notes it checked all the boxes and i'm just so grateful that i finally read this book like four years after getting it I'm just glad I finally made the time. I'm just so happy. Anyways, I'm going to bed because it is 11.30 p.m. and um, a couple are gonna come and take my couch tomorrow and my bookshelf. So I will be couchless and bookshelfless. I already had to put all my books um, somewhere else 
because the bookshelf is gone. Say goodbye to it. So anyways, I'm going to go. I'm very tired, but please, please, please read this book. Please. It's so good. Anyways, goodbye. Hey guys, real quick before I actually go to bed, I just wanted to mention that I did guess the twist at the end. The moment that like the whole book you're waiting for, I guessed it. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not usually very good about that kind of stuff. My mom's really good at it. It's like really hard to recommend movies and books to her because she guesses it from the very beginning every single time. But um, I never do that at least not always. So when it happens, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm smart. So anyways, it, it did kind of like in the moment when you find out, I was like, oh man, like I guess that, but it was really well done. Like it was a really good move and it wasn't like super obvious. I was just, I was really trying to figure it out. So like really the whole time I was trying to like comb through it. So I was really looking for it. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and I am gonna go to a bakery. So I haven't told you guys this, but this past week I have been challenging myself not to spend any money. Um, so I have completed that goal and I want to treat myself by going to a bakery that I've never been to, but I walk past all the time and it looks amazing. So I think I'm gonna get a latte and some sort of pastry or dessert or whatever. And I'm gonna bring my book. Hopefully there's seating so I can read. I started reading Girl A last night. I'm about like 15 pages in and I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a little boring, but I'm hoping it gets better. This is one of those books that had like mixed reviews. So I'm interested to see where the story goes and where I lie in those reviews. So anyways, that's the update. My couch is leaving today and so is my bookshelf and I'm really sad about it. I can't even like look at the couch because I loved that couch, but also I like literally lived on that couch for the past year and a half. So like, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet because like, I'm done. I don't want to see it anymore. But also like, it was such a comfortable couch and like, it really was there for me. I slept on that couch all the time. Anyways, I'm not going to be sentimental over a couch. I'm going to go to this bakery and I'll take you guys with me. All right, bye. God called me of everything I know is. Okay, hey everyone. So I just got back from the bakery and it was really cute and it was nice outside. I had a good time. I was also reading Girl A while I was there and I got a little further into it. What I will say is that I am not connecting with the writing at all. I feel like the writing like genuinely feels disconnected. Um, maybe that's intentional, but right now I'm not feeling, I, I really feel like I'm just like on the outside, like reading a newspaper almost. Like it just feels very cold. Anyways, um, the story has picked up. It is giving me like room vibes, like, um, the room, like the movie slash the book where the, um, where this girl was like trapped in a room by this like kidnapper guy and she like has a baby in that room and they're like stuck in there for years um so i'm getting that vibe i'm getting um what's that show called unbreakable kimmy schmidt i think that's what the show is called um it's giving me those vibes but like not funny and um it's giving me like weird cult religious cult vibes so do with that what you will I think it's interesting so far, but again, the writing is, it's just disconnected for me so far. Um, and each chapter, I, I guess they're more like parts and not chapters, but um, there's parts for each uh, sibling. So I just read Girl A's uh, part, and now I'm about to start Boy A's 
apart. Um, and I guess you just get to hear the different perspectives of each sibling. So I'm excited to hear uh, more about the story and what happens. So you pretty much are hearing it from these siblings in present day and like what they experienced in that house with their parents holding them hostage. And it's it's not that they're holding them hostage because it's like their parents, but they're like literally like handcuffing and chaining their kids and like not feeding them and like forcing them to read the Bible. It's very strange. But again, like I'm reading these things and I want to feel more connected and I want to feel more like empathy, but it's just, it's reading very cold and dry. So I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm just absorbing the information rather than feeling connected to the characters. So anyways, that's my um, opinion so far, but I'll keep you guys posted. I did also start reading um, Who Moved My Cheese this morning because I need to read it by uh, tomorrow afternoon. It's fine. It feels like one of those books I used to have to read for work where it's just like, this is how you're going to be successful in life. And if you don't follow these things, you're not going to be successful. So <laughs> it has very low ratings on Goodreads too. So I'm just kind of like, all right, when will this be over? But I'm only like five pages into it. So what do I know? Bye bookshelf, bye couch. You've both been very good to me. Adios. Wow, she's gone. She's gone. Hey guys, it's Ida. Please don't mind me and my sweaty, gross hair. But today was a very productive day. I feel really good. I, you know, as you guys know, went to that bakery this morning. So that was a fun little Sunday morning thing for me to do. And then I actually finished who moved my cheese it was like barely 70 pages or at least the version i had i don't know i got it off of uh the libby app and it was cute like it it was like a clean like story it came together um i think it was written like a children's book and so i read the whole thing out loud to myself because i like to do that sometimes and um it was enjoyable it was cute and i finished it and there's a siren going. Anyways, then at one o'clock today, I had someone coming to pick up the couch and the bookshelf like you guys saw, and now I don't have a couch or a bookshelf, but my apartment feels a lot bigger. I feel a lot less stressed about moving. I've been really, really stressed, even though I've been taking it really slow because I don't move until the end of September. So I still have some time to sell more stuff and get my ducks in a row. But then I was able to pull out a bunch of stuff from my closet because I actually had the room to do it. And I have like four of these like shoe racks and I posted them on the Facebook marketplace. And within an hour, somebody reached out and came and picked up three of them. So I was able to sell those. I sold like, I sold like one little knickknack that I had. And um, I just feel really good. I cleaned my apartment. I was able to go through a bunch of stuff and post more on Facebook Marketplace. So I feel really good about that. And now I am sitting here reading Girl A, which also um, I realized as I continued reading that each part that I was talking about um, isn't from the other siblings' perspective. They're still from Girl A's perspective. You're just learning about those siblings. Um, and the more I'm reading it, the more twisted and messed up it is. There's, I think there's incest going on. Like it happened, like it was like a very one weird quick sentence out of nowhere. And I was like, um, what? So I don't know. I don't know. And this book is like jumping around quite a bit and I'm confused with all the character names because it's not like really being explained very well. So, or maybe I'm just reading it too fast or I'm just slow. I don't know what it is, but we'll see. I'm still very interested to see what happens, but um, today was a really good day. I am happy with today's progress and hopefully I can sell some more stuff and read some more, but um, today's going to be my last day for the vlog. I know that because I don't want to have too many days in it. But anyways, I will keep you guys posted on my reading efforts for the rest of the day. And I think that's it.
All right, talk to you guys later, bye. All right, we have another HelloFresh meal. We've got mozzarella and mushroom hoagies that turned out like this, which is honestly not that bad for me. So pretty pleased. We'll see how it tastes. Hey guys, it's Ida. So I am about to go to bed slash read more of Girl A. Um, I made mushroom and mozzarella hoagies for dinner, which was essentially a Philly cheesesteak without meat in it. And I FaceTime my family and I have been just Facebook market book placing Facebook market book. No, that ain't it. But I've been just selling stuff left and right and I'm just really happy about that. So thank you guys so much for sticking through this video with me. Um, please let me know what your thoughts are on The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo or Girl A. I really doubt any of you have ever read Who Moved My Cheese, but if you have, let me know of your thoughts. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.